Hello everybody, wish everything is fine. Today we'll talk about uh, a new tool for what we call codon usage. So first of all, we have to know what is codons. As we know that uh, the, every organism have 64 codons. Some codons are stop codons like UAA, UEG, and UGA. Other codons are for initiation codons like AUG, and the rest of the codons are coding for amino acids. For example, you can see serine have four different codons coding for the same amino acid. Proline have four different codons for for uh, also coding for the same amino acid. So, but we uh, during our experiment we can see that every organism and every sequence have some bias toward using uh, some codons and not using other codons. For example, you can see that in bacteria it uses some codons for production of serine and not using other uh, codons. And you can see the same pattern uh, of using some codons and not using others in most of the sequences and most of organisms. So to detect this bias, and to detect, to know uh, which codon, codon are biased and which organism uses which codon and, and how, how can we detect this, simply there is a tool called codon usage. It's available in the SMS uh, sequence manipulation suite and you can see that uh, this uh, program can accept one or more DNA sequence for example and can give you uh, uh, the, the result as a number of frequency of each codon uh, type uh, and which one is really uh, biased in, uh, and which one is used frequent, more frequent than the others. And as we see, can the, the, the sense the program also compare the frequency of codon that code for the same amino acids as we see, you can use it to assess whether the sequence shows a preference for particular synonymous uh, codon or what. This uh, this program called Codon Usage, as we can see that you can simply copy and paste your program in the box and in the submission box and you have to know that this program can accept e either raw sequence data or sequence in FASTA format. And also the, the, it gives you the option to use any uh, coding table like, like vertebrate mitochondrial uh, yeast mitochondria, uh, 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 bacteria, uh, or uh, other organisms. So different table can be chosen, uh, but if you s use only the standard one, so you can just copy and paste your sequence in the submission box and press submit and you will get your result immediately. The result consists of five columns. The first columns can give you uh, the name of the amino acid, for example, alanine. So, and of course, because alanine uh, have four different codon, so you can see that alanine have, for example, GCG. Alanine can example have the other uh, codon. So you can see in the next column that there is uh, four, uh, <coughs> for a list, the four codon that is used with alanine. Uh, this is the number of number of times that alanine have been repeated during uh, in this sequence. So that we can see that this codon, the second codon, GCA, have been used twice, and the the GCT have been used also twice. So this means that the first and the last codon, which is GCG and GCC have not been used in this sequence. So there is a bias toward the second and the third, uh, uh, um, uh, the second and third codon, but not uh, using the first and the last. Uh, so, and the fraction means that the percent of using salt, 50% and 50%. In other codons, like for example, cysteine, you have two codons, you have TGT and TGC. You can find that uh, there is it have been repeated six times. Six times, uh, five of them, five out of six, have been used as the, the the code TGC, and one out of six have been have used the TGT. Uh, 
Thus, the, this means that there is a bias toward uh, this code, TGC, which is 83% versus 7 17% for the first code. So uh, as you can see that there is analysis, uh, detailed analysis for each and every amino acid and which codone is preferred and which for this organism to use to code for this amino acid. So this table, it's a big table, give you uh, a very uh, overview of which co which codon which codon have been used extensively for to code for the, am the amino acid and which codons uh, are not used uh, and what is the frequency of using these codons of course you can use this as a comparison between two different sequences uh, in different organisms and uh, and this uh, can of course uh, help you in the comparison in a much better way and very useful information the tools are very uh, easy to use and, uh, and and very fast to to get your uh, result. Thank you very much for listening for this uh, lecture and hope to see you in coming lectures in more bioinformatics applications uh, uh, from the bioinformatics training unit. Thank you very much and hope to see you in the next lectures.